No one said that the path is going to be easy. And it's not. We know life is rough and we know there will be pain. And whether that pain is at the hands of an enemy or at the hands of nature or time or disease, there will be pain. That's the way life is. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? The problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't know you would die. It's your dream. If you wanted to have it, get your butt up and make it happen. If you wanted to have it, rise and rise. I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones. And every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology and you've not upgraded yourself. So listen to me. There are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. You have been disappointed over and over and over again. And every time you try, nobody notices. And every time you try, you come up short. Sickness is cyclical. It comes around, it goes around. You're well for a little while, and then it's the same thing all over again. But this time, it's only worse. Because now, not only are you back where you started, but you have less hope that it is ever going to be different because you've cycled through it one more time just to realize, well, I guess I'm just a cynical person. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go. And people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. And I dare you under every single circumstance, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. Keep fighting, keep going, and don't give up because the only real failure is actually giving up. And if you don't give up, you will win. Well, I guess I'm just a negative person. I guess nobody in my family was meant to go to college. Sickness becomes normal to you. And it starts to be easier for you to just accept the condition than to challenge it. Because to challenge the condition means to risk disappointment. And some of us have tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. And now people see you and they assume that you don't care. No, I care. I cared and I cared so much, but they didn't care back. And I tried so hard and I still got looked over. And don't you know it's hard when your expectation has been damaged by disappointment? It's, it's a slow damage. It's a slow tearing of the muscle fibers. It's a slow deterioration of your hope by disappointment. It is not one event that creates it. It's over and over. Over. I tried and I tried and I smiled and I stayed and I disciplined and I showed up and I didn't care and, and the man has finally gotten to a place where he is tired of trying you might even feel like there's no hope there is a difference between passion and obsession when you're passionate everybody cheers you on as we begin to look at what we want as we begin to look toward the future, what's going to be crucial for you is every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, you've got to affirm to yourself, hey, hey, no, 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 I can make it. This can happen for me. But you've got powers within you, talents within you that you haven't even reached for yet. Now, whatever goal you have, here's what we know. You're going to have some opposition. You're going to have some difficulties. You're going to have some challenges. Long journey, long dark night. But when you hold on to your dream, don't let anybody kill it in you. Just hold on to that dream. When it doesn't make sense to anybody, including you sometimes, just hold on. 
once you give yourself an opportunity to try and to stretch, you'll find out you can do more than you can ever begin to imagine. The first level to success in life, the very first level, is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it look like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. See, life is rough, ladies and gentlemen. It's rough. Things that's gonna happen to you in life, ladies and gentlemen, make it okay. I can change how I respond to it. I can become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless. Victims are people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. That's all it is. That's not who you are. That's just a perverted use of your power that you aren't satisfied with. And you've got the power to change that. If you don't know what has happened to me, it really doesn't matter what has happened to you. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. Oh, you found your passion? Awesome. Follow your passion. Live with passion. Be passionate. Chase your passions. Everything. Like passion, 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 passion. Passion's good. Like the world's gonna be like, yay, passion. When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you gotta be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always gotta get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. Because somebody in your life should say, man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide. Clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so anti-social? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. All the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's necessary that you be patient. It's necessary that you take a stand that you dig in, it's necessary to know there are going to be some difficult times. I know I'm going to have to take some blows. Find out how strong I am. Can I stand up? I know I'm going to experience some rejection. 